sitting in the parking lot of uh, Woolman here. This uh, travel plaza over there. Oh, there's a challenger guy over there. Bobcat. And I'm still empty. Yeah, I got up at uh, 7 o'clock. Today's Monday. Get up at 7. Because I decided to, uh, to check my uh, tires on the truck. Sorry about this. Yeah, so I decided to check the tires on the truck and trailer. 26 tires. And, you know... I knew that it would be raining, so I drove uh, drove to the Cal Stye here in Cambridge, and I was counting on being first. And because one truck, even if there's one truck ahead of you, it can take a lot of time. And when I was, you know, about to turn into the yard, I I, I saw another truck over there, a uh, dry van. So I had to go around and uh, pull in there and I asked the guy, I said, you beat me probably by 10 minutes because they opened at 7.30, I was there at 7.15. And he said, no, I was here since 4 in the morning. Yeah, it turns out some older guy, he was pulling a, a either dry van or reefer and had uh, one of those big Volvos, you know, like uh, with a huge hood, you know, like the biggest one. And he looks at my trail and he says, oh, I used to do that thing. Uh, I said, what? Oh, heavy haul. But now there's no money in heavy haul. I, I switched to, you know, this. So he's just pulling and driving. And my dispatch sent me an email. Yeah, we're gonna, they're gonna be two trucks. So I'm picking up the, this road, uh, the road machine. And there's another truck picking up the, the boom. And they said, uh, call us when you're on site. And I'm thinking, uh-oh, I better call the auction because I have their phone number. I have the uh, lot, I know the lot number. I know the buyer number, right? So I'm thinking they should be able to give me this information on the phone. So I call them at nine o'clock, like 8.59. And this, they check and they say, no, there's still a balance owing. So basically I said, you cannot release the machine. They said, no. I said, okay. So no reason for me to go there and then sit there, right? Because you never know when the money is gonna come. So I emailed my dispatcher, said, still no movement on the part of your buy. And they said, okay, we're gonna talk to the broker, to, the, to their customer who is in the West USA. So there's a difference, time difference. And then 11 o'clock, now it's uh, what? Now it's uh, twelve twenty-five. Yeah, eleven o'clock. I call them again. I call the auction, and they said no, no change, still money owing. So I don't know. So I'm still here, sitting, not sure when I'm gonna be moving again. But I need to move because this is the second week before my. Um, paycheck like th this Friday is the cutoff right so whatever I made last week and this week is what I will get at my next pay and so last week I made zero dollars and zero cents and so I need to do something this week It's windy today. Uh, I love this start. You have to keep your foot on the on the brake, and the key should be somewhere close. And when you see the green light, it means that the car can see the key. Time now is five o'clock. Five o'clock, and I'm still here. 
nothing happened today I'm guessing because of the holidays uh, everybody says that the buyer at this auction knows about this he or she has been uh, notified but because of the time difference and you know and you know Friday was uh, I think all banks were closed over here so anyway yeah I could you know I wanted to call them before five like the auction so maybe if they were you know if they got the money so maybe then I can go there like at seven o'clock in the morning but I, I didn't want to annoy people too much you know because it's actually it's not my business right I'm just the driver uh, I already called them like three times so I'll give them a call tomorrow so now I don't know what else to do I had a quick lunch then I was watching uh, those funny uh, videos with uh, Jimmy Fallon on YouTube you know I love those uh, especially those uh, lip sync battles he has occasional I just saw uh, Kevin Hart and Jimmy Fallon and this one other guy <laughs> it was very funny <laughs> and usually guys choose you know female singers and it's especially when it's like a huge guy beef guy and then the song starts playing and it's a very high voice female voice <laughs> anyway I saw a movie yesterday which one yeah I think I saw this um, Batman versus Superman you know? it was a bit long I really hated that uh, character played by Jesse Eisenberg he was weird you know uh, just out of curiosity I watched the old uh, episode on Jimmy Fallon where he was interviewing this guy Jesse and just to compare and he was weird in that interview too so but funny you know I don't think he's as bad as the character he plays so okay what I want to do now is just maybe oh actually wait a second it's already five o'clock I think they close at five but I got the key I want to go and check my uh, my mailbox okay I forgot to do one thing before backing on this car it's important to clean this little lens over here and the position is not very good because lots of dirt flies over there you know so I often find it difficult to, to see that screen but it's a really nice feature you know uh, I never had this before on my, on my vehicles now as soon as I put my foot on the brake and I pull the shifter in reverse look at this <laughs> see push it back it disappears it turns into regular uh, music or navigation right you can do navigation it's all built in but as soon as I go into reverse please check surroundings for safety of course there's always that guy he likes parking like this and that's how accidents happen you know <laughs> because it's difficult it's difficult to get out when people park like that That's what happens when you get lazy, you know? I usually always park, uh, I'm b I, I always back into uh, 
spots. Like an old trucking habit, you know. But this time I got lazy. It's this guy. With a 20-year-old license plate. Alright, I made it out. Yeah, some guys were asking me about the um, this little plastic plate. I usually find it at you cannot see the numbers on the camera, but it's a digital speedometer. So for example, now it shows 13, 12, 11. That's kilometers per hour. Well, I checked the mail, nothing for me. But I got some goodies. It's gonna be my uh, supper or dinner. So, walnut halves. Uh, what would you have here? 110 grams. $30 per kilogram. <laughs> 327 for 110 grams. Oh boy. But I love this stuff. Of course, you're not supposed to eat too much of it because it'll get you fat. But a little bit of walnuts, that's the recipe for you know, long life from those super old dudes in the um, middle part of Russia, like Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Georgia, they were always, they always had these like on the table just a little bit with uh, honey. driving down the main drag in Cambridge called Hespler Road and I'm passing my favorite Starbucks 525 Hespler at uh, Sheldon this is a Sheldon Drive and I try to stay away from this stretch between 401 and um, and Cambridge Mall, Cambridge Shopping Center, because there's so many lights here. And I talked about this before, but you see, like it's probably GoPro is not going to show. Like there's two lights ahead; they are green now, which is not good because this one is red. So by the time I reach that one, it's gonna be red. So it's like a deterrence, you know? Wow, I made this one. But it happens once in 10 years that you can pass. Okay, this one is a very long light. This one is always, is always green. But this one, Pine Bush and Hespler. Like I said, it's probably like the chance of passing through this intersection without stopping, without being caught by the red light, it's like ooh, uh, slightly better than winning a lottery. You know, like that cash for life. This is the worst intersection here in town. Two lanes turn left, three lanes go straight, and then that lane exits at 401, uh, 401 East towards Toronto. And so 
there's always people oh yeah then there's a curb lane that turns towards um, the mall the uh, Walmart but once you get closer to 401 there's always people trying to jump from that lane into here from here into there because yeah that's the only lane that you can take if you want to hit 401 like either eastbound or or westbound and you know when you live in one and look at this the I see the counter says 20 seconds remaining so it's a very short green light here now I see this guy changing lanes okay and that's what causes hustle here <laughs> so that's the eastbound ramp to go east towards Toronto and these guys are lined up to go west towards uh, Windsor and so over here there's always fight especially during this time 521 past 5 after that light that's the bridge that's the bridge uh, over 401 and the, uh, the freeway so you have to go like over and then under right and so that's like 50 meters and there's always people that are trying to use that very short distance to change lanes either from here to here or from here to here because if you're in that lane and you don't want to go to 401 guess what you have to change lanes because that lane exits see 401 west London all right let's see let's see some crazy lane changing come on I'm shooting a video here give me something huh. Just, just when I'm, just when I'm shooting a video, no, nobody is acting crazy. That's very unusual for this time of the day. All right, that was a short. Trip down the memory lane. Sorry, I didn't. I couldn't show you guys anything more exciting today. But that's what happens when you. Some people say, "Oh, show us what you're doing, right?" Well, that's what you're doing. You're waiting. It's basically it's either you're waiting and you're sitting on your ass, or you're running around like crazy. That's two things that there's nothing in between. So you're either sitting, or it's rush, rush, rush. You know. So you never know what's going to happen next, right? Because I was ready since the morning that I would go, like I checked my truck tires, everything, right? I did my part. I was ready to go. And of course, when you're ready to go, nothing happens. But this is just a, you know, illustration. And by the way, this area it's funny let me just change cameras well wh why I was gesturing is because it was too windy so I know that my GoPro would not be able to pick up my voice, but what this is I think I mentioned this sometime, but this is where my trucking career started uh, This big lot used to belong to uh, Challenger Motor Freight And this was back in 2005 so 10 years ago Wait a second 11 years ago Well almost so that's how long I've been a trucker this was uh, summer, more like August 2005, when I relocated to this town from from Scarborough, from uh, Toronto, from Concord, my last place over there. And then over here, this was the old yard 
even at that time they already had a, a new yard like a new beautiful building closer to Kitchener just uh, 10 minutes away from here but this was the old yard but they still had the building and now I, I see they even knocked down the building there used to be a building in the corner like very ugly dark you know everything was falling apart and I remember that so we had to attend the uh, two weeks of uh, you know orientation no it was like a week in in the classroom and then they told us uh, one week with a driving instruct instructor like city delivery and then one week with a with a long haul instructor like going to US or inside Canada and I think we didn't do the entire course here because it was so ugly inside but we just did a couple of days but that's where my career started back in August 2005 and then uh, so I worked for them for one and a half years and then in 2007 I bought my Yellow International and joined this other company and then in 2010 I joined Landstar and I worked there for four years and then in 2014 they kicked me out they did not need my expertise anymore and now I'm with a small company in Ontario so that's uh, another brief trip down the memory lane well hopefully tomorrow I'll do a proper uh, tracking video uh, I hope that these our uh, final customer in Thailand knows what they're doing and that they're aware of the situation down here so because there's no other loads I was checking on the Landstar uh, load board I don't see anything you know worthwhile so I'm still under this load technically so we are waiting thanks for watching take care